Hello everyone, welcome to Code Enzyme. This is the 18th video of the series Graph Algorithms for Competitive Programming. And in this video, we are going to discuss two satisfiability. Or uh, it is also called two set. So this is basically a type of problem. Uh, I think I will just show you the problem first because if I write all the mathematical equations right now, uh, someone might get terrified. Okay. So basically, I will try to explain this concept using a problem. So this is a standard problem based on this uh, concept. So let's first read the problem statement. Someone's family is going to order a large pizza and eat it together. Okay. A total of n pizza family uh, n family members will join together and there are m possible toppings. Okay. The pizza may have any number of toppings. The each family members gives two wishes concerning the topic toppings of the pizza. Okay. The wishes are from like if topping x is good or bad so your task is to choose the topping so that at least one of the wish from everybody becomes true so basically we have three toppings and uh, five people i think three three uh, people and five toppings so first person says okay one is also good and two uh, two is also good uh, now this person doesn't want one but uh, he says okay he wants three so either we can uh, so we so we have this now then we have okay so now then we have the third person says okay he wants one but he doesn't want two okay so uh, i mean there could be many possible solutions for this and this is one of the this is one of the possible solution that he said okay let's not take one so if he does not take one this condition becomes false that means he has to take two right if i don't take one i have to take two right uh, otherwise the uh, the first person will get upset i want to make everyone happy so i will have to take two so this becomes a plus now if i am taking a two that means i am not taking a one so four must become plus right and since i am not taking a uh, taking the one this can either be plus or minus it doesn't actually matter this person is happy right so that is the uh, problem and if it is impossible to do so we want to print impossible and since n and m are 10 to the power 5 we want to solve it solve this whole problem in big o of n or n log n time now you can actually try to do this with some greedy approach but i don't think you will be able to solve this problem in big o of n time right and to solve this problem in, in big o of n time you need to learn about this concept called to satisfiability so everyone has some conditions and uh, okay, let's actually see how we can actually model this problem. So we have some wishes like there are some conditions, some toppings. Let's say there is topping x1, x2 and x3, right? So if the topping is added, I will uh, call it call it x1, x2 and x3. If the topping is not added, I will say like x1 bar, x2 bar and x3 bar. So these are just the notation that I will be using while explaining this concept. Okay. So let's say for the first person we have this like he wants x1 but he, uh, or uh, or he wants x2 so i can write this as okay he wants x1 first person or he wants x2 the second person says that okay he want he doesn't want x1 so he says x1 bar and uh, or he wants uh, x3 and there is a third person so if we have x4 uh, x4 so we have x4 uh, and then he doesn't want x2 and we want to say that we want to make everyone happy so the result of all these should be positive right uh, so it should be true so i can take intersection of these right so let's say this is this equation is called l and i want to find what should be the values of x1, x2, x3 and x4 individually is this true, false, true, false like that to such that L is uh, true right because I want to make everyone happy it will only happen when L, uh, when L, L will become true right now like can I make everyone happy can I make everyone equals to 1 so if x1 is 1 x2 is 1 x1 bar is minus 1 uh, or 0 x3 is 1 x4 is uh, uh, 1 and x2 bar is 0 so we will see that okay this is correct 
this is also true this is also true so this is one of the possible ways like okay consider all the toppings yeah this will also work i can consider all the all of the toppings but uh, what if we have something like x1 union x2 yeah what if we have something like this now if we have something like this then x1 uh, then these both become zero so then we will never have that uh, either uh, so we can't say let's add all the toppings then someone might become unhappy and this equation will become equals to zero now what what might be an optimal solution let's say x1 equals to one uh, let's actually say x1 equals to zero then this becomes a one okay so i have to now if this x1 is zero then this must be one i have no choice but this will be one and if this is zero then x3 must be one and this is so this is one of the possible solution to make this equation equals to true i think i am going a bit too fast so kindly watch this part uh, slowly and if you are able not able to understand how these equations are formed kindly write these equations on your own and try to come up with it so let's say we have something uh, some equations like uh, condition 1 uh, union b1 intersection a2 union b2 so these are two conditions that every person is giving and then we have an am intersection bm and every ai is equals to either xi or xi bar right like that so we have some variables and every ai can either be xi or xi bar and we want to find all xi's uh, such that such that l is true right so we are given so, so the problem looks something like this uh, now uh, let's say my problem is looking something like uh, what was the previous uh, question uh, let me get back to that slide so we have x1 union x2 so let's say we have something like x1 union x2 so let's consider this equation and uh, now let's try to find out what the possible value of x1 x2 x3 should be okay so this is x1 okay now uh, i mean like what does it mean like if i say it's if x1 is 1 then it means then it means i can't say if x2 is 1 or not but uh, then this implies x3 is also 1 right x3 is also 1 because this was minus 1 right uh, x, in here it, it is 0 so x3 must be 1 also if x3 is 1 then x1 bar is also 1 so if x3 is 1 then x1 bar is 1 and this is contradicting right if i set x1 equals to 1 then x1 bar is also 1 and this is contradiction so this is not possible so i can't have x1 equals to 1 so let me erase this so now one thing i am sure is my x1 should be 0 so if my x1 is 0 this implies x2 equals to 1 from this case x, x1 is 0 then x2 must be 1 and also x1 is 0 then this implies x2 bar is equals to 1 and this is also a contradiction uh, so my uh, so this is also a contradiction because x2 is 1 and x2 bar is also 1 so uh, from this case i can say x1 cannot be equals to 1 and x1 cannot be equals to 0 so this is why and if if and if this is the case then my answer is impossible right okay let's consider another equation okay now let's consider this equation and try to solve the answer so let's first fix my x2 equals 1 and if my x2 is 1 then do we have x2 bar x2 is 1 that's, that means x3 is 1 implies x3 equals 1 and do we have an x3 bar somewhere mm, we don't have x3 bar okay so if x2 is 1 then uh, x3 is equals to 1 this satisfies and now let's say x1 equals 1 if x1 equals 1 
and this implies x2 must be 1 and if x2 is 1 this implies x3 equals 1 and if x3 equals 1 I mean you basically see the idea that uh, how this is going I mean we will have to consider several possibilities and this will never be optimal and we will never be able to solve this in big O of uh, n log n time right uh, or big O of n time like that so this is not optimal and we want to devise an algorithm to compute this uh, optimally so what we can do is so how can we actually solve this so what does this imply if we have x2 union x1 bar or let's say x1 union, union x2 if we, if there is a person which says x1 union x2 what does this imply it says that if my x1 is uh, if my uh, if not x1 so if uh, if we have not x1 this implies x2 must be set if not x1 then x2 must be set or if not x2 Im uh, implies x1 must be set right uh, so we can uh, so let's say I make a graph and the edge represents like if I have edge from A to B this represents if not A then B is must okay so let let me form a graph using this equation for the sample test case so let's try to do it for this equation only so first person says x1 union x2 uh, x2 union x bar so what does this mean uh, i will have if not x2 so what does this mean x2 union uh, x1 bar this means that if x2 is set sorry if x2 is not set that means x2 bar then x1 bar must be set right uh, so I will have x2 bar pointing towards x1 next we have if x1 bar is not set that means if x1 then we have x2 must be set right and from this equation if we have x1 bar as unset that means if x1 is true then x2 bar must be set that means x2 uh, okay so it means this edge only that means if x1 bar is not set so if x1 then x2 must be set so x2 must be set for this x2 must be 0 right so x2 bar so we have something like this right if x1 is set then x2 bar must be not set yeah i think uh, that is correct now uh, so we have uh, i added i think four edges right okay we also have the counter case when x1 bar is not set that means if x2 then x1 bar must be set if x2 then x1 bar yeah next case we have x1 and x3 so if x1 is not set that means x1 bar then we have x3 must be set so i can make an edge like this okay and then if x3 is unset okay so if x3 is unset that means x3 bar then we have x1 so i will make an edge like this okay then we have x2 bar and x3 bar so if x3 bar is unset that means x2 then x3 bar must be set and x3 bar is unset so if x3 bar is unset that means x3 then x2 bar must be set so we have this and now if x2 and x4 uh, sorry if x1 is unset that means x1 x1 bar then x4 must be set so an edge like this and if x4 uh, sorry 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 and uh, that is not the case x1 bar is pointing towards x4 not x1 so we have an edge like this and if x4 is unset that means x4 bar then we have x1 so an edge like this so this graph is looking pretty complicated so let me just simplify it and re redraw the same thing in a flexible way okay so when i simplify this graph it looks something like this okay now if i try to find all the strongly connected components so we have some components like first is x4 bar which is pointing to x1 so this is whole component which is pointing to let's say x1 bar and then this is pointing to x4 so we have these components okay so once we have formed the formed the components we will go in reverse order like this reverse of the topological order that we used uh, in the above 
I'm going there. I will say that all the elements of this component are true. So I will say, okay, my x4 bar, let me write it down. I will say, let's say x4 bar, uh, last component has x4. So I will say all the elements in this component are true. So x4 is equals to true, right? I will say like, okay, let's say x4 equals to one. Then in this component, I will try to say all the components are, uh, all the uh, nodes of this component are true. So my x3 will be, will become one x1 bar equals 1 x2 bar equals 1 okay yeah. then when i reach here i uh, in the b i will try to make everything equals to true but i will not assign those that i have already assigned so my x1 is already 0 and x2 is already 0 now here you will see x3 bar uh, i know x3 bar is already 0 so i will not assign that a value x1 was already 0, x2 was already 0 and then we have x4 bar which was already 0. So this is one of the solution that is possible. Okay. Yeah, so we have this. Uh, so this is one of the ways you can try assigning all the values but don't assign it again uh, something that you have already assigned. And uh, let's also do a counter case when this will fail. So let's say we have a graph like so this was the equation that we had previously. Now, if you try to find, uh, if you try to draw the graph of this, uh, this, uh, uh, this equation, you will get something like, so you will get something like this, and you will realize that everything is in a in a single component. And now, if x i and x i bar are in the same connected component, in the same uh, SCC strongly connected component, then it is impossible as at the same time we can't have x y x i equals to true and x i bar equals to true so even if you start from the reverse topological sort in your condensed graph you will never have this like in this case we had in the condensed graph you will try to uh, turn the all the uh, all the elements of this equals to true and uh, and then you will go backward but uh, in this case uh, in this case when everything is in a single connected component you will never be able to achieve it so this is this is how you will detect that it is impossible Okay, so now let's move on to the code uh, and today uh, in this video I will not be coding it because I think uh, it will take me a bit time to actually code every case. I might get stuck somewhere. Now let's see. Okay, so first of all we are trying to find uh, make a graph. Okay, so I have two graphs. The forward graph and one is the reverse graph. So we have something like this and actually I made this uh, I think if you see the maximum number of uh, maximum number is 10 to the power 5 so what i did was i made a graph of two times length okay so one is for x1 bar and x1 bar plus n is the uh, is the that uh, is that x1 bar if i'm scoring x1 xi at some position then xi plus the number of nodes that i have will be will represent xi bar like that so these are this is just I am taking the graph input. I will give this code in the description so you, or in the pinned comment so you can check it out. Then obviously everything is initially all the visited is false. After that I will try to find the topological ordering. Once I have it I will try to uh, find all the connected components. Okay. So by this I am finding all the connected components. Then I have to check if xi and xi bar are in the same uh, are in the same connected component. If the color that is the uh, the head of the component is same then it is impossible otherwise I will print uh, that okay uh, I will either consider it uh, I will print them accordingly okay so this is the code for DFS the uh, one and DFS two so if you were able to understand this kindly like this video and if you have any doubts you can comment down I will make sure to reply to each one of the comments I will see you guys next time thank you